What's up, people? So, uh, it's my lovely wife's birthday today. Yay! It's mommy's birthday today, yes. isn't it, guys? Yay! Princess, it's mommy's I birthday today. Talk. I am taking some time off work, so I'm gonna just do a half day at work today. And I've got my two little helpers here. I'm the caramel! Yeah. We add flour and butter. Yes, and Princess. And then we add an egg. Good girl. Yeah. We love mommy, and mommy does loads of nice things for us, doesn't she? Yeah, she's a good girl. Anyway, it's nothing massive. We're gonna make her a nice little cake, take her breakfast, you know, some fruits. So here we are. I'm not, you know, Gordon Ramsay. We're just gonna keep it simple. It's gonna be like a vanilla sponge cake. Is so everyone okay? That's like yeah. a classic recipe. So we're gonna do that. And yeah. hopefully it yeah. turns out great. I want that bowl. You want this bowl, do you? I want to add an egg. What are we doing? Hello, I'm making the cake for our mummy to make her special. Good girl. I want to mix it. Wait one moment. Good girl. Ah, it's got me. It's got you. Great one. There you go, we're all folded. Daddy. Good boy, Wolf. Yeah. Good boy. Can you see it? My turn! My right, turn! Switch it on. But no one's pushing that. No, there's still more bits there. You can squash more bits. Go on, switch it on.
Guys, yes, yeah, so we finished the cake. And the twins did a card. Look, the cake looks great. Doesn't it look great? I, I like your card. You need to put fire on it. Candle. Alright, open the door, come on. Happy birthday to you. feeling a bit more awake now. I just bought my clothes so I can head to the gym today. Yeah, it's going okay. Uh, it feels good to be another year, another chapter in life. And it was really nice this morning. Sam's already headed to work. I don't know how he did that this morning. Um, and they made me this, which is really sweet. And I just saw these flowers as well, which are from Sam, which are really sweet. And he has a cute note there as well. Look, Daddy got flowers, guys. Is it pretty? It's from the shop. It's from the what shop, but it's from Daddy. Why did Mommy get things? Why did Mommy get flowers? Because, because, because in those boxes... That's Mommy's alarm, flowers, which means we have to get you for school. It's time to get to school, isn't can it? get some flowers as well. To put, to get... Well, there is a real chat now. But yes, these are beautiful. So I'm just going to make sure I put them in some water. But thank you. you need to make it grow. And then these are the twins' clothes. I need to get them ironed because I've got school. Alright, time to get ready for school, guys. Oh, this is heavy. That looks so nice. So I've just exchanged this plant for this one. Oh, that one's. I don't know what I did. I think I bent it a bit when I was cutting it. Oops. But it still looks really pretty and it makes the kitchen look so nice. I'm going to get the twins ready. So this little man is still sleeping. I go in ready earlier. So as long as he doesn't give me a surprise in his nappy, then we should be able to get out the house in time. So I'm just doing the ironing real quick so the twins' clothes are ready for preschool. I should have done it yesterday, but we went out because it's my birthday day, so we're out quite late yesterday at my parents. So I'm doing it now really quickly. I just saw I iron one of Sam's shirts as well. <laughs>
singing a song what song do you want to sing you want to sing happy birthday okay okay so just arrived at the twins preschool Caleb is here with me in the kitchen enjoying. What's wrong? Don't let your heart be sad. <laughs> so I'm just working on his meals right now because I practice meals already. I like to just do it all in one day and I'm here again middle of the week doing it again because I underestimated how much this little guy eats and how quickly he's growing. So he's already almost finished his first batch of food. So I'm just doing some more right now. Just thought I'd show you what I do. So it's pretty basic. I'm just working on this veggie mix which one I've already made. I'm going to make another one soon. But it's so basic. It's just broccoli, sweet potatoes, carrots, kiwi and with some ginger and some ginger as well and I pop it into here which is the Nutri Bullet Baby and after that I then pop it into these containers and the thing I love about these containers is you can pop them in the freezer and then when you're ready you can just slide them out and then defrost them and they're just really really handy for me. There's some extra mangoes as well which you then can have as a snack which is what he's chewing on right now. So what we do is, I think I mentioned before, we're doing a combined method. So he's having baby led weaning where he has finger food, like mangoes or sticks of carrots or broccoli. All those will be lightly steamed. It's a little bit messier. That's the only thing I would say with the downside of baby led weaning is it is for a lot of mess. But I feel like the long term benefit is they chew a lot better and they're a lot less picky eaters. And at least that's what I experienced with the twins when I did it that way. That worked out really well. So we are doing both. So it's like the so. Is that Mama? 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 You say Mama? 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 Dada? Mama? Guys, I'm really trying. I'm really trying, but I think I've given up. He has said Dada already, so I lost this battle. And he's now seven months. He's growing so quickly, and he's very, very vocal right now. The other song that this little man has been enjoying is Ebba, Founder Yam and Amala. That's been like his three favorites. He's getting a little bit restless because he is due for his nap. So I'm just going to finish doing this real quick. guy with me. Say hello buddy. Yeah, it's a lot easier shopping with one rather than three. Usually I shop online anyway but we had our delivery this week and they didn't have any chopped tomatoes. I'm like how do you run out of chopped tomatoes? 
So I've literally had to run to another store to pick some up because we need it to cook during this week. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then afterwards, I'm going to head to the library to get a little bit of studying done. so having a busy yet fun birthday so far and also if this vlog comes out midweek instead of on Sunday I do apologize now I just know I have a very hectic week coming up I have exams and we have a few events this weekend so I'm not sure if it will be able to come out by Sunday otherwise it, I'll send a message on snapchat so make sure you follow me on there if, that way I can just announce if there's any date changes to keep you all updated and me and Sam are going to be heading out very soon so he's downstairs with kids so I'm just having a little bit of me time while I get ready got my clothes laid out just need to iron them and sort my makeup and everything and so I thought I'd just do a little chatty bit with you guys and just catch up share with you the comments of the week and some of the stuff I covered in my quiet time my mom's gonna pick up the kids real soon my mom actually works full-time but we're just very grateful that she helps out when she can and so she's gonna be heading here when she finishes work so I'm going to share with you guys comment of the week so I'm gonna do a few comments because I've had a couple of videos since the last vlog so the first comment goes to a little bit of Nonny L and she said thank you for this video Sam and BB it was a great video as a newly married one year and new mother this is definitely great and we'll take these into consideration awesome so me and Sam did a video where we just kind of gave our own you know honest advice on handling finances as newlyweds so the next comment goes to Stephanie Collins and she says oh my gosh beautiful family thank you and when the twins woke up and actually tidied their bedroom I melted now I want twins Oh my gosh, getting the twins to tie their bedroom has taken a while, guys. This has not happened overnight. They're only three, and now they wake up straight away and they tie their bed. But let's just say we started, we've just been persistent with it, and now they're the ones who are even telling us, Mommy, I need to lay my bed. Let's not rush off yet. So I really like it, because at least I know now I won't have to think about laying... Or I hope I won't have to think about laying three older kids beds when they're you know teenagers and the twin thing wanting twins this is probably the most popular year I know of people expecting twins like people I actually know as well but I say as you know please don't come next to me without anointing we are done we are actually done and I do know another couple who had their second set of twins and yeah that takes a lot of grace guys but if you want twins it'll be fun to do a little poll I'll probably do a little fun twin poll on the side because this is definitely this is the year of twins. The next comment is from Jessica Kiwan and she says, brilliant, thanks. Anything on books for new Christians and stay-at-home moms would be great. That is a good question. So I have picked up this book this week and this is Crazy Love by Francis Chan. And I've only just started reading it, but I would definitely recommend this one for a new Christian. I think if you're a new Christian, I'd recommend spending time in the word number one, which is probably what you know, hence you're now asking for books. But in terms of books, any book that really just pushes you to have a relationship with God and a relationship over religion is the most important thing. So I really like this one because it's just getting back to the heart of it, which is the fact that, you know, we have this God who just loves us like crazy. But like I said, I've just started it, so I don't want to give too much of an in-depth review, but I'm definitely enjoying Francis Chan's writing right now. In terms of books for stay-at-home mums, um, I'm just trying to think. Elizabeth George is an author I really admire. She's more of an old school author, but I really just love her writing. She talks about being a godly wife, godly woman, and she has a book about being a godly mother. And also, I think Gary Chapman's books, I think a lot of people know the books, the love languages of, you know, like relationship. But he also has one for children as well. So there are a ton of books, but like I said, I'd probably go back to always spending time in the word for the, you know, the real wisdom and then 
other books as well. If anyone else has any other suggestions for books for Jessica, especially she's a new Christian and a stay-at-home mum, please link them down below for her. And let's, you know, use this opportunity to build a community where we're helping each other, especially in our walk with God. Finally, I'm just going to share with you what I covered in my quiet time. You see, my phone sends me notifications every so often, just to encourage me to make sure I write in my online journal of, oh, this is what you wrote this time last year. And I guess because it's my birthday and the program probably knows, they sent me a message of what I wrote on my birthday last year and the year before. And so sometimes I journal on paper and other times I journal online. And so I end up just going back and just reminiscing and I was looking at what I wrote last year, what my prayers were, what my, you know, what I was thinking, what I was talking to God about. And last year my focus was just, you know, Lord, just give me strength to be able to cope with three kids under three. Lord, let me have a smooth delivery. And, you know, a year later here I am and we have, you know, three healthy, wonderful children. Idu came right on time. And now this year, God give me strength again to cope with these three children, strength to be an, a good wife, a good mother, and um, just to steward all the things that you've given me. And right now, this is the year I've started, no, in fact, last year, the year I started a, you know, postgraduate master's course. You know, the Lord just led me to go down this path and I'm just, you know, trying to stay obedient and trusting him for grace in how to, you know, cope with it all. And so far he's just, you know, been so faithful. And so I definitely just encourage you guys just to walk in obedience, even if you don't understand. Now, I'm just constantly just praying to him as, you know, I plan to go back to work. And, you know, there's a lot of things that go into that. Basically, after I looked at last year's entry, I ended up looking a few years and just had this thing about checking what I put in every year on my birthday. And it was funny, there was some times I was looking at old entries and some of them just made me laugh at the things that were stressing me out then. I'm like, how was I stressing out as a teenager? Now I know what stress really is. And then some of them were a little bit more sad. One entry really stuck out to me was the year where I hadn't met Sam yet. And, you know, my birthday's early on in the year, so you've just come out of New Year's where you're like, hashtag goals, this is my year of finding bay, this is my year of all these things. But yeah, it's almost Valentine's Day, so you're like, oh, why am I still single? And then a couple of fact, I'm in uni, and I'm like, you know, time is ticking, I ain't finding no one in university, what am I gonna do? Everyone says it's too difficult to find anyone later on. And I was just reading my entry and I was just like doing all these calculations with God like God you know if I get married if I find someone now I'm going to get married this year and then I have kids this late and who knows if I'll still be able to have kids and my brain was just all over the place and then a few months later I put another entry where I literally you know got my thoughts figured out surrendered everything to Christ and the scriptures what I'm going to share with you now is um Philippians 4 and I guess it's 4 to maybe 4 to 9 I'll link it down below but um it starts with always be full of joy in the Lord I say again rejoice and then it talks about you know then you experience God's peace so I'm just summarizing it but I will definitely link it below and his peace will guard your heart and then it reminds us to you know it reminded me to fix my thoughts on what is true, honourable, right and pure and lovely and admirable and that ends with then God's peace will be with you and I just read my entry from that day and that is the time I feel like my heart really turned around. This is before I met Sam. I constantly have to come back to this scripture even nowadays when you know the kids are cutting up and being fussy and on those days where I feel really overwhelmed because you know as much as you see me smiling with my kids, and I do enjoy them, I do enjoy being a mother, there are definitely some hard days. Pretty much, I feel like every day I'm getting tested with, you know, patience and strength. And I always have to come back to this scripture, you know, as well as remembering for these children I have prayed. And just that Paul stayed so positive, just really encouraged me. And this is so much more than positive thinking. It's about the fact that he was truly trusting the Lord to fill his void. And, you know, the scripture completely, you know, slapped me in the face and really challenged my heart. And it's funny because that was about the same time I ended up meeting Sam. And it was so funny because all my formulas just fell apart. Like, all the time I was told the Lord, I this has to happen on this scale. And I told him I'll be, you know, really old by the time we have kids. I might not even be able to have kids. How would I have known that the Lord would have been like, I'm going to give you twins, which accelerates everything. And now we have another child and I end up having three kids in under three years. Something I never would have thought possible, especially with my profession per se, 
when people say you know it's difficult to balance the work and the family but in God's timing anything is possible and he truly does restore those years you may feel that you've lost so I just really hope that encourages you and now I need to get ready because we are heading out very soon for my birthday dinner which I'm really excited about I'm going to show you guys my outfit so this is my outfit I have to think about laying the clothes out on the bed excuse the ruffles I need to iron it but this top is from next next tall everything is from tall these trousers are ASOS tall I have to think about wearing white trousers whenever I leave the house because I never get to wear white around the house because obviously with kids so when I go out I really take the opportunity to wear white I've got this necklace which I got from a really cute boutique on the high street and I've got these shoes long tall Sally literally is my shoe game right now and these just some cute little pumps I really like the detail it's open in the middle if anyone who can recommend any shop that does shoes for people over size 10 please let me know I asked you guys for clothes for tall people and a lot of you gave me some great suggestions I'm still looking for shoe shops as well because it's quite limited on that front and this is my makeup stand this is always my makeup stand it's always so messy I just throw everything out I'll see there'll be a toy there classic and I just want to show you guys real quick a scarf I've been wearing, which is actually a nursing cover that was sent to me by a company called Covered Goods. I just want to make sure I shout out good companies, especially when they send me very handy mummy essentials like this. So they have a ton of different colours. I'm not sure why I chose one this loud, but be sure to check them out. They're a small business, but they're growing so, so quickly. So I've already done my base. I've done my foundation. Just going to put on a bit of powder. And for my lips, I used Brave by MAC. I'm keeping it quite neutral to be honest and this concealer which I think everyone uses it's amazing and I need to tongue my units I've got some hair stuff here as well I'll be changing my hair in a moment but if anyone recommends any good hair places that make good units please let me know I'm always on the lookout but yeah that's basically it so I'm just gonna get ready and we're heading out very soon bye it goes down trying to get three kiddies outside the house. Caleb is having his bath with the help of his big brother and daddy and I am trying to wash Good Olivia's hair. Well I've washed it already and now I've just got a conditioner in so I'm just leaving in the conditioner yeah, right now. And this has actually been a pretty good day. She didn't cry as much as she usually does. So what day is it? Hair day. And guys her hair is growing so so much. Are you splashing your brother? I feel like I should do a little like flashback clip of when I cut Olivia's hair. Like the twins hair literally, Olivia's hair was like Noah's. I pretty much cut everything off. And now we've got some growth back. It's a lot of hard work and deep conditioning regularly. But yeah, we're heading out soon because the twins have got a birthday party. Hey guys, so I'm just heading to the gym. I've got a class to go to. And this will be my third time this week. So I'm being pretty consistent, which I'm happy about. The aim was three times a week, so that's going pretty well. I think it's just because I'm, you know, sticking to just going to quick classes. But I want to up my strength training. So I think next week I'm going to, instead of doing like body resistance, I might start doing weight resistance. But I'll keep you guys updated with this fitness journey. <laughs> So 
just on our way to the party. Everyone is in the car. <laughs> Nowhere is gone. Mm. <laughs> K -O. Olivia, what's your brother doing? Which brother? Which <laughs> brother? What are both of them doing? Sleeping. They're sleeping. Sleep. And where are we off to? The party. You oh, excited? Yeah. She's really good. She doesn't really sleep in the car that much, does she? No, it's always she's the really twi good. She's always keen. the twins. It's always the boys. She's keen. All right, let's keen head out, guys. Like so we've arrived at the party Come and on, we're about to head on in. And this has already found a few things they want to play with. Like everything. They, they literally want to play with all these cars. Come on, guys. Let's go. We're going to the party. You want to go in the bus? No, let's go. to look for some parking because there's like no parking in this place and grandma's here with the twinnies hello say hello she's actually such a pro with them doesn't she look like a little madam <laughs> olivia yes. you look so yes. cute hi this is auntie nita and nita and mama is playing this is talking is basically right now and this is my daddy hi daddy hi and little cousin well not cousin well they're cousins
time guys okay we're reading the story about baby jesus when baby jesus was baby. born baby jesus now mary loved joseph a baby caleb yeah this is baby caleb mary and joseph were going to be married Daddy, joseph we? lived in nazareth but his family lived in Please? bethlehem Let's go, angel. Uh, 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 u